Freebird, Bayer Dynamic. It's the new uh, hotness. Bayer Dynamic has taken their first step into the truly wireless audio space with their Freebird headphones. Bayer Dynamic is a massive, a long time player in the audio space. They make some of like the de facto studio recording equipment like the DT770 Pros. So Bayer Dynamic is bringing years of experience in the audio game to these wireless headphones. But just because you make good sounding headphones doesn't mean you make good wireless headphones because there's a lot of other tech that is expected of wireless headphones, such as noise canceling, uh, microphones for doing voice calling and stuff like that. Get off of there. And these have a lot of that tech built in. They support Qualcomm Aptex Adaptive as well as AAC. I'm not sure if they support LDAC. I really hope they do. That's a the, just because, you know, Bear Dynamics an audio company, lossless audio from LDAC. It features Qualcomm CVC microphone technology, which is a um, noise canceling technology for microphones. So like if you're in a noisy room or there's wind, it'll help cut out some of that noise. But yeah, Bear Dynamics hitting it, hitting a lot of the things we want and also looking pretty slick. But before we get to those, let's see what else is in the box. Cause it's, it's telling us, it's telling us right here. See? Find out more. Paper, whoa! Holy cow. Look at all them ear tips. Uh, we have a USB-C to A connector for charging your case and a whole lot of ear tips. We have five silicon ear tips and three sets of foam ear tips, which is amazing because everybody's got different ears. Having this kind of selection makes sure that you get a proper seal and the things sound great. And also having foam tips is great because uh, there's people who have like silicon allergies or get irritation from silicon and foam tips tend to be a little bit softer on the ear. And we should mention price. These are $250, which puts them at about $30 more expensive than AirPods Pros. But in terms of features and what you're getting in the box, it looks like a good start. Also, you know what else is nice is that they color coded the insides of the ear tips so that if you don't have them in the box anymore, you can still tell which sizes are which because they won't have labels on them. But at least you have this tiny little piece of paper. So you can just keep this and then not have a box taking up space. These also support fast pairing with Android phones, which is nice. That's basically the uh, like magic pairing equivalent for Android. So you just kind of open these near your phone, your phone recognizes it, and then you're off to the races. Also something I've just noticed now is that I think this is all recyclable packaging. So kudos, but you're dynamic. That's great. Oh, these kind of look sick. Hinge is a little bit mid-tier, not gonna lie. But you're dynamic, <laughs> your hinge game is a little bit weak, but uh, Look at those, don't those look pretty? I mean, just look at these. These are pretty big, they're thick boys. Also, these are rated IPX4, which is sweat resistance, like so splashes, stuff like that. Don't take them swimming, but if you're gonna work out in these, uh, they'll should ha they should hold up to sweat. Sweet, these, I'm actually so stoked about these. This is like, these look great. They kind of look like guitar picks. They look like a plectrum. Oh, <laughs> they designed them to look that way too. Uh, that's kind of cute. Sweet, I'm really, I'm very excited to listen to these. I'm gonna get some ear tips on these. Let's try the foam ones today. Something to note is that your choice in ear tips can affect the sound. A lot of the times foam ear tips can soften things a little bit. Um, you know, kind of makes sense if you think about how foam absorbs, you know, sound waves and stuff like that. It's tough to say, but it depends on what fits in your ears the best. That's the most important thing is what works for you. But before we listen to these, let's talk about our sponsor, Vessi. Vessi footwear is known for being lightweight, easy to pack, comfortable, and most importantly, water resistant with its Dymatex technology. Their everyday move line is designed with added support at the midsole and better breathability to keep up with your active lifestyle. Take them off, put them on with ease thanks to the handy pull tab. It's also made creature free, so every step you take will be guilt free. Your feet will thank you for wearing these. So say goodbye to wet socks and save $25 with our offer code short circuit at vessi.com slash short circuit. I like buttons. I didn't see any buttons on these, which I don't like. I like buttons personally. It looks like they use this central band across the middle. That's where the touch commands actually happen. Tap and hold to activate the voice assistant. Oh yeah, speaking of voice assistants, apparently these have Alexa. I'm not 100% sure what that means because I think it would just use the voice assistant that you have active on your phone. Um, so maybe these have Alexa like at any time if you're not connected to something or if you're connected to like your computer that doesn't have a smart assistant. These do have fast pairing. To, like with AirPods on an iPhone, you just open them and then they go, wow. Apparently you have to press the buttons on these. Tap, tap, hold. Oh, and there you go. They popped up right there. Okay, and in the app, we have ways to select our ANC modes, 
on, off, and transparent. Our low latency mode, which is great. You can see uptime, playback time, phone time, and starts, which is kind of interesting. So if you like keeping stats, I don't know, maybe you're a last FM kind of person. I know I am. And see sound profiles, personalize your sound with Mimi. Oh, okay, so you do a hearing test. Set a volume that is loud yet comfortable. How, uh, how do these look? Do they stick out pretty far? It feels like they stick out pretty far. Yeah. Equalizer, oh, do they not have a, they don't have a real equalizer, they only have sound profiles, which is kind of a bummer, but they have lots of different ones. Okay, they have a control demonstration in here, which is cool, open manual online. We're gonna take a listen, before we do any sort of app personalization, we're gonna take a listen. The ANC is currently on. It's quite nice, a lot of ANC, a lot of automatic noise canceling will cause like a small hiss to occur. I hear nothing. This is just like silence. At least it doesn't sound like anything's coming from the headphone. There's not a lot of sound on set right now, but it's doing a good job of like blocking the low hum of the HVAC that's going around the building. Like it just took, completely disappears when I put the ANC in. ANC off, I am now hearing the HVAC system come back on. Transparency mode. It, <laughs> it just, Hello. hi. How are you? Oh, it sounded great. I, it's tough to tell. Can you talk like quietly? Talk like, yeah, talk like you're telling a secret to David. I hear you. <laughs> the transparency mode sounds good and relatively natural. Audio quality, lossless. Okay. We're in. Um, these, first thing that I notice is that these have quite a wide sound stage. Um, listen to like the hi-hats in this song, they're usually panned pretty far to the right. Um, Whereas the snare is like right in the middle. It's very positional. There's a quite a lot of detail. Like in this song, you can hear, it feels like I can almost hear the bassist like plucking the bass as opposed to just a bass note. These sound really good. Listening to like Sufjan Stevens, it sounds very, the intimacy of the track comes through his voice. It sounds like he's almost singing directly to you. At the same time, I still feel like I'm capturing like the grandeur of all of his orchestrations in this track. Well, everything also is very distinct and separated. It feels like I can hear every single instrument that's in the mix. Out of the box, they sound great. But let's do their audio personalization. Maybe, maybe my sound will be the best sound. It says, during the test, you will have to focus on the beeping sound. The beep will disappear into the noise. The background noise will always be there. They give you a sample of what to expect. Okay, let's start. Let's practice round. Oh, whoop. I did it wrong. Range of details I usually hear versus range of details Restored by sound personalization. Oh, apparently I am very suboptimal. I'm gonna listen to something that I know very well. Also, these uh, automatically these have in-ear detection. They keep pausing when I take them out. Okay, so basically what it's doing is that it's applying a customized EQ based on my results on the hearing test. I think there was a little bit of a performance error on my part. To me, it's a little bit overbearing. They do bring up the highs because I do have like some hearing loss at my age, like. It's a natural thing. You just kind of lose the higher end of your hearing. It didn't ruin the music, but it uh, it did change it a little bit. So let's do a quick AirPods comparison just to, uh, you know, probably the most direct competitor. You can see a little bit thicker, a little bit longer, a little bit shorter. Very similar shape though. Um, You know, they both sound really good. These definitely have more presence in the low end compared to the AirPods. And it definitely, may, they might have a bit of a V-curve assigned, like applied to them. So a V-curve is where the mids are kind of recessed and you hear a little bit of a bump very, at the very low bass end to like get extra oomph and thump. And then at the high end, you get a little bit of extra detail and sparkle because they crank up some of the higher frequencies. Yeah, these sound so good. That extra kind of like, they bring that kind of extra life to the mix and the extra little bits of detail that I'm hearing don't seem just to be from an equalizing curve. It sounds like they're just actually a little bit of a more detailed response. So these get up to 11 hours of battery life on a single listen. I assume that's without noise canceling on. These get five hours without noise canceling on. Like even if, so like even if noise canceling's on and assuming they're not just straight up totally lying, you're still gonna be expecting like Probably eight hours of listening time. That's ridiculous. This is a mic test for the Freebird, uh, the Bear Dynamic Freebirds. Um, if I leave here tomorrow, would you still remember me? For I must be traveling on now, because there's too many places I've got to see. But if I stay here with you, girl, things just couldn't be the same.
Because I'm as free as a bird now. And this bird you cannot change. I've learned how not to miss the age of tenderness that I'm so lucky to have seen once. And now that I've become older, I've learned how to brush over my history and how it's sequenced. Um, listening back to the microphone quality, you can tell that there's a lot more processing on the Bayer Dynamics than on the Apple AirPods, but the AirPods did sound better. And that's probably because they put their mics on the little sticks. They're just literally closer to your mouth. You, that's always gonna be better. I'm trying to do the volume. Tap, tap. Oh, okay, so it's tap, hold, and then it will like go up, step, 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 step. So it's not like tap, hold, tap, hold, tap, hold. Um, the, There's no delay. The controls seem to be working well. I have it, like, they're definitely like, you can brush against them and stuff will happen. It's still touch controls, but they're pretty responsive. I like that. From the time I've spent with these, I can just, I can wholeheartedly recommend them. They sound excellent. The app needs some work still. There's features missing, like a full EQ, and like, it's kind of wonky with the connection sometimes. Like sometimes I'll have them beside me and in the case and it won't let me edit them or anything. Let's see how the ANC sound uh, works on these. We'll start with the AirPods because we know that they work really well. Apple AirPods, they have good A and C. Who would have thunk? Now let's see the bare dynamics. It definitely, it's cutting out less than these, but it's like, it sounds more natural. I don't know. Yeah, the, the, the A and C is definitely working better on the AirPods. Um, so I think if A and C is really important to you, then you might want to stick with AirPods Pros. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep them. I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna keep these around. I definitely want to spend more time with these. So uh, yeah, that's the second fun. Th this is this is the second pair of headphones that I've really enjoyed on here.